The next one will be uh, Peter Jen. Peter Jen is the, the founder of Titan. They create our, the uh, new uh, management program, the tools to manage the open set ecosystem, the existing one. Uh, formerly called Pandora. I think you guys may be familiar with it. Uh, it's already open source for a few months. Some of the people is already using it for the trial. Now they change name to Titan. So, and it's purely made in Hong Kong. So let's change to Titan. Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Peter, and I'm the founder of the project Titan. Actually, Titan is the previous name is called Pandora, but we rename it to Titan because we add a little more concept to it. So Titan is consistent of two things. The first one is the management tools. The second one will be the programming language. So we let me introduce our team. So I'm Peter, I'm the leader. So I, I'm in charge of the architectural design and the implementation. And Boost Leads is very helpful. They help us to pronounce the Titan. And the professor is giving me an idea to doing that, okay? And Ian Chang is the programmer to do the actual cooking. So what is Titan is, it is a new programming language. We're still driving the programming language specification. And the reason is why we need the cow lead language is, in the previous slide, you already see white scale, right? The white scale has many settings, but the setting is just the setting. You cannot give the logic to the cow. For example, in a situation, if your cow is under attack, can you Inside logic and telling the car what to do automatically. In fact, you cannot. So we want to create engine and support a new language. So you can define what behavior to work with when situation come in. For example, if somebody uh, giving you the DDoS attack to your car, you can tell him what the car do. For example, to scale up the server, a box some port or whatever. So this is why we need the programming language is important. And the Titan also come with a management tools. The management tool is, uh, here is the screen dump. So you can see, you can use this tool to manage the, uh, the OpenStack. You, the first question you may ask is, the OpenStack has a dashboard. Why you create the Titan, right? Because Titan is not just a management tool, it is an execution engine. The execution engine is to execute the programming language. So that's why we need to create software on it. And the Titan actually is written by in Java. So you can use your Mac, you can use your Linux, or you can run it in Windows. And you may ask, Java, it is very trouble to set up, right? But the Java is easy. We pack everything into a single jar. You just can, you type in one single command, you can launch the software, okay? I will give everybody a little demo. Okay, why we think Titan is important? As I, as I said before, OpenStack got many settings, right? You can set the uh, network, you can set the VM, but you cannot tell OpenStack what to do uh, when under attack or doing some logic. So Titan is sitting inside the OpenStack to give him this logic. And what we are up to is we just finished the first beta version of the management tools. You can use it to admin the OpenStack and the tools is fully open source. And our website is on GitHub so everybody can get a cone and use it in any, any machine without paying every, any money, okay? We work very hard to do the programming language and the execution engine. So we just finished the first draft of the programming language specification. And we are working very hard on the compiler. So if anybody are interested in programming language, anybody interested to create a new language, you can contact me. So we can work it out together. So as you, as you can see, our team is very small, only five people in there. So we are welcome anybody to join the team, okay? So in the program language, we got some new syntax and the stuff and the logic. And the program language will highly focus on the uh, parallelization and prevent the locking or something. And the Titan, the architecture is, many people in the new scope already asked me, am I going to replace the horizon? But the answer is not, we need horizon. Because horizon is a, actually is an API server. So the Titan sit on top of it and the Titan send the web show command to the, to the horizon, and the horizon help, help us to control the open stack. The horizon doesn't do 100% of the job. For example, horizon still very weak on the performance monitoring, right? So we got a server to run inside the, the open stack to do all the things the horizon can do, but we still need the horizon, okay? So we are not replacing the horizon. 
And the, we got a website, but we haven't launched it yet. The website will be titan-engine.com. And all the code is on the GitHub. If you have any trouble to set up the Titan, you can just contact me or take my LAM card after, uh, after this talk, okay? So what we need is a, is a team member and the hardware sponsor. We got some testing hardware, but actually the hardware is not very powerful, so we need the sponsor. Okay, now I give everybody a, a demo. Okay, here is the server, is the, is the open set. So actually it is running a, running a Ubuntu. So if you want to start the Titan, actually the command line will be pretty simple. So after you check out the code, you got a folder, right? In the folder, there is a directory called test. You just type in test, and in here you got a startup script. And let me show you the startup script. The startup start script is actually very simple. Just one line. So Java doesn't mean trouble in setting, right? In setup, right? So you just type in this command, and the Titan server will up. Okay. The all the Titan server is doing the job is to wait a minute. I just, I just, wait a minute, I just start. Okay. Okay, I'm now running the server. The show the server will up. And what the server do is to connect to the OpenStack and control the OpenStack. So many things I need to control. For example, if you launch a VM, you need to send a command, right? You don't send the command directly to the OpenStack. You send the command directly to the Titan server. So he, this is the graphical interface of the Titan. When you, the Titan server is up, you can see some icons in here. If your open source service is done, it will show you. So now my server, because doesn't bring up the S3 service, so the S3 service is done. So in here, the, the Titan is up. So now I'm going to launch the client. Okay, in my machine, I always got the Eclipse, right? Yes. You don't need to have the same load, but you need to make sure the level connection, the Titan server can connect to the horizon. So it doesn't have to be the same computer. Okay, here, this is the Titan. So you can see the login is live. Type in the IP. Remember, the IP is not the OpenStack horizon IP. It's the OpenStack, it's the Titan server IP. So the port can be anything. So I'll just pick it up. And then I just log it in. So this is the so this is the Titan, right? So the Titan is a, we got a big wall map, right? Now we, we have a minimal support of the level. So in the future, we want to support the open daylight or et cetera. In here, you, if you click on the server, it will give you the, uh, the graphical view of the performance monitoring. That means my server only running 26% of the CPU or et cetera. So because my, my infrastructure is small, I only got one server, so you only see one, one wall in here. So in here, you can launch a VM or whatever you want to do. If you want to launch a VM, just click the launch button. And then you can type in the LAM, type in how many VM you want to launch and select the image, put click launch, and then it will launch a VM in here. If the VM is running, you can have many advanced settings. You can pause it, you can unpause it, or you can even create a snapshot. You, if you want to remote to the VM, you can just click the remote button in here. It will just connect to the VM directly. And then you can, you can log into your, uh, you can log into the VM and then save it. And uh, we got the payback button. That means you, you can record all the screen. For example, if you want to monitoring the screen of the VM, you can record it. So this is all about the Titan. So our website is in here. Yeah. 
So if you go to the GitHub, you can So here is the oh. So this is the our website so you can give a call to the source code. So uh, any any question about the Titan? Not yet? No? So everybody is welcome to try. Thank you very much. Thank you.